Natalie's finally talking, so let's see what she's got to say. Okay, Nat Nat, I wanna know your side of everything that's going on because honestly, the last video that we heard from you, it was not good on your part. Easy and Natalie posted a video called Talking to Easy for the first time after our breakup. And in the thumbnail, it shows Natalie kind of in tears. So let's go ahead and watch this video because y'all know me. I'm on top of the shit, always. Are y'all ready? Cause you know I am. Let's get it. Are you still in love with me? Just kind of want to, you know, know what you feel. Um, uh, I, I don't, I don't really know like where things are gonna go. Um, oh man. I miss y'all. I miss y'all so freaking much. Like y'all don't even understand. Like y'all know. Yeah, y'all do understand. I miss y'all, and I can. I I know y'all miss me too. And Miss Natalie, he had been posted in a cool minute. Like, bruh, me and Natalie. Woo! I did not. If I could literally go back in time, three years. Four years, I always get it wrong. I would not have expected all of this. I wouldn't have expected she would be my best friend. I wouldn't have expected for me to fall in love with her. I wouldn't expect for her to fall in love with me as well, because she's straight. Man, there's so many things that I just, have, I wouldn't have expected. And I wouldn't have expected if we were together, things would happen the way they're happening now. And uh, it's just, you know, it's a lot. Um, I kind of wanted to just talk to you guys, because I don't really know what's going to happen. I didn't expect to have as much support as I thought I would um, once the situation happened. And I really want to say I thank you guys so freaking much for all the support you guys have been giving me personally. You are welcome because I have been supporting you. <laughs> I feel for you, you know, this, this is tough, especially for a lesbian woman to fall in love with a straight woman or with a straight woman. Who knows what she is, but it's tough. But I am very, very, very disappointed and a lot of you guys, how you guys are dealing with Natalie, you know? And mind you, you're entitled to have your own opinion. Talk to me, girl. Damn, like, I never thought y'all could be so ruthless. Woo! And not everybody, not, not, not all of you that are watching this video are... Let me stop you, Easy, because Easy is being protective right now. This is normal, this is natural. We are the outsiders looking in. I'm only gonna speak for myself. I supported their relationship or whatever they had going on. I supported it because you see the love between the two. But Natalie is handling the situation the wrong way. You ended things with this girl off of a tweet and in that tweet, she didn't, she didn't even give out information. But since you guys wanna put this out on YouTube for the world to see, expect opinions on it. Sorry to say Natalie, but you looked bad. This is your fault, not mine. Just I'm just speaking my opinion, that's all. Ruthless, but a lot of you guys have been giving Natalie so <laughs> much backlash, and it's like, bro, like y'all yeah. support her, y'all say y'all support her here, and the moment that she does something that y'all probably don't agree with, it's like we we not gonna support you, Natalie, because you did something we didn't agree with, so we're not gonna support you. We're gonna bash you, and that's something I just I can't tolerate, you know, and I I don't I don't appreciate that, you know. She's not only human, but she's the love of my life. And as the love of my life, I can't sit back and just watch it all happen. I get I it. I freaking love this woman. I get I it. And I want it to work so bad. And say she doesn't want this to work. And she wants to be completely just done with me. Just don't bash her, bruh. She's... How about you stop filming this? How about you stop putting it out there? You guys will not get this type of feedback. You guys will not keep seeing all these harsh comments. Stop filming it and stop posting it. That's the only way it's gonna stop. But if you continue to do it, sorry, you can't control other people's opinions, thoughts, or fingers. Easy woman, y'all supported her all this way, but the moment this is something that y'all don't agree with, I didn't tell y'all to go bash this woman. Not one time. Regardless of what I tweeted, regardless of what was said about me being hurt, come on, y'all. Y'all gotta do better. We gotta do better, Easy Gang. We gotta do way better, please. So what I'm, I'm going to sit here and do is just ask you guys, if you've said anything negative, go apologize to her. Or if you're <laughs> big enough or bold enough to do that, just- Girl, calm your ass down. Don't be a kiss ass now. Come on now. I know you're trying to win your girl back, 
But don't force people to apologize for what they think or what they feel. Cause I sure as fuck am not. I don't think I bash Natalie. I really don't. I just gave my opinion. Respectfully. I, I just don't like how she did things. And a lot of people agreed with me. I mean, I don't know what to tell you. Send positive energy her way. You know, and to mention a tweet that I said about her sister, regardless, I want this to work between me and Natalie. And I cannot make this work and continue to move forward, regardless of how I felt during the moment I tweeted the stuff I tweeted about her family. Moving forward, I want this. I want to be with her. So that's not going to happen if I continue to just post stuff when I'm feeling a certain way. That's me backtracking. You know it's what I'm saying? Facts. So I want this to work and I want it to work and it can't work if I'm clashing and we're clashing. You know what I'm saying? With the family. It can't work because it's just like that is what is has torn Natalie apart. Facts. I need y'all to understand Facts. Like, going over there and bashing them, that ain't go that ain't gonna make it better for me. How that gonna make it easier for <laughs> it's me? It's gonna make it worse. Uh, how is that going? That just making it seem like yeah, we got easy back at y'all. We can bash y'all. You know what I'm saying? It's like nah, that ain't gonna help my situation at all. Yeah. Y'all seen the last thing I said? True. I'm trying to fight for Natalie. Stop. Just stop. It ain't gonna help the situation. It ain't between me and Natalie. But what I do know is that she texted me, and you know, she did text me. Said she wanted to talk to me. I don't know if it's something good or- Girl, don't be so happy though. You look so happy. You don't know what she's gonna say. And it's gonna take a lot of work to get back to where you want it to be. Don't get overly excited because then you might get disappointed. Bad, but regardless, just to hear her voice is freaking incredible. I am a little nervous, so bear with me. Um, so let's get into this video. If you're new, hit that subscribe button, y'all. Hit that subscribe button. <sighs> Okay, so I just texted Natalie right now and you know, I asked her can I actually FaceTime her and she said yeah So I'm nervous now. You about to see that. your girl. I don't know. I don't know what I thought But we'll go see how this conversation goes and y'all are still filming. That's a damn shame. Ain't nothing gonna get better it Ain't gonna work. I'm sorry y'all. I'm gonna say it. It's not gonna work They might get back together and then they're gonna end it again. Watch Hey. Aw, okay, that was cute. That was cute. I ain't gonna lie to you. That was cute. Did you see that? The second they saw each other, they both had a big smile. That was cute. I'm gonna have to rewind that again. I'm sorry. I'm a sucker for love, and I think it's adorable. Cute! Okay. <laughs> that was cute. How's it going? Good. How are you? Oh. Crazy, but <laughs> crazy. Why you say crazy? I'm stressed, girl. Stress. I feel like I'm aging ten years in the future. Nah, you can never age. You look gorgeous, beautiful. Thank you. You look so freaking beautiful. How have you been? I know that your stresses with your freaking orders and stuff. That's crazy. But other than that, I'm not insanity. Yeah. Bro, it's I don't know. I just feel like. <sighs> I'm just trying to see positivity out of all of this. You know, everything That's happens tough. for a reason. Yeah. yeah, it all happens for a reason. It's just like, what is the reason? What was the reason? <laughs> but right. It's just like, yeah, you know, what's up though? Like, you said, what you up though? Talk, you know, chop it up. But usually when somebody says they want to talk, speak, you know, girl. That goes. It's not really, you know, too good and stuff. So. Well, I just have a few points, but I want to like make. Mm -hmm. um, clear the air make sure that um you understand certain things you know uh -oh. um what uh -oh. first and foremost i just want to say that um what? i love you um i know um i know i know that um you know that I love you and stuff, but I just wanted to say it, you know, where you can see my face. Oh my God. Um, Girl, what are you gonna say? It's just been really hard. You mean? It's been really, it's been really. What are you gonna say? What's, what, talk to me. The amount of people um, saying that I don't love you and uh, making 
these assumptions and stuff about a relationship that has meant so much to me for the past three years. Oh, Natalie. Oh, that was genuine. Yeah, first off, like... That was Natalie, genuine. You know that, that was real. I freaking know how much you love me. Don't cry. Natalie, don't cry. Please don't cry. Listen to me. Hear me. Come here. Look at me. You and I both know how much you freaking love me. You put so much love into this and what they're just jumping to conclusions. You know what I'm saying? And like, I know you love me, especially over this three This is sad. This is why you shouldn't be filming every single thing. You guys have to talk about your viewers. That shouldn't matter. That shouldn't affect your relationship. Why is the conversation about your viewers? Family, granted, it's situations like that's gonna happen, something that you might have to talk about together. But viewers, YouTube viewers, damn, that sucks. You show me more love than any girl that ever has, okay? So you don't gotta tell me you love me based off of them jumping to conclusions. They don't know half of the love that you put into this, okay? Yeah. You don't gotta tell me that. I know, I know, it's just, um, it's tough, you know, being um, accused of things and attacked by people who don't know you and don't know half of the stuff that happens behind the scenes. They don't they literally see not even one percent of our lives mm -hmm. there's how many hours in a day and they get to only see us for maybe 30 minutes a week and that's a true you statement know? and it's just so unfair. trust me i know i vlogged for two years with my relationship hold on my damn dog's playing with a toy all right let me get back to it i don't care about anything that they're saying like i said people jump to conclusions yeah you don't care but you sure as fuck want them to subscribe and keep watching your videos, right? To keep paying that car note. I mean, you're gonna have to care a little bit because you're making these videos. It's all your fault, you guys. This is easy and Natalie's fault, not ours. I don't know nothing, all right? You do not have to justify your love for me, period. Like, I know how much you love me. You show so much, okay? All right? Um. I also wanted to be coming to Miami and my reasonings for it and stuff. I know we talked about this already, but like I said, just people attacking and assuming and judging and stuff is just making me want to talk to you about it. That... Let me just get it out. Go ahead. Me coming to Miami has been 100% for my mental health. It hasn't been me being done with you completely or being like, yo, I'm out, like, being done with EXN. I don't know why people are jumping to those conclusions because I never said that mm -hmm. to anybody. It has been 100% for, like, my mental health, you know? I needed to be with my mom so she can help me deal with the emotions that I was feeling um, from stuff that has happened over the past few years, you know what I mean? And look, over... Look, Natalie, I know it's not just a... I just told you... And I, Easy. I'm not frustrated with you. I'm Easy, let her talk. We've heard from you so much. She's trying to talk and you keep cutting her off. And then when you cut her off, you talk so much. Frustrated that I know it's not because of a tweet. I know that it's so much deeper than that. And people jump into conclusions. It's not about us jumping into conclusions. You guys made the storyline that way. You made the storyline that way. With your titles and your thumbnails. Okay. <laughs> hurting you, that shit hurts me, and I don't, I hate to see you hurt. Like, I hate it, bruh. I know you had to make the decision for your mental health and everything that you was going through personally. Don't let these stupid comments make you feel like, you know, even worse about what's going on with your sanity and your mental health, you know? I know. <laughs> um, and since I just want you to know, like, since I've been here, in Miami, you know, my mom has been, like, helping me a lot, like, helping me learn how to deal with things. You know, this time apart is just really just showing me how much I love you and how much I care about you. I'm happy to hear that. I'm really happy to hear that, you know? Your sanity and how you feel means so much to me. And the fact that I can even just think that some of these people said that they support us, but then they like, turn their back on you. And you literally, man, it's just, it's heartbreaking. And I'm, I'm just such Easy, a also understand that a lot of the supporters were following you. So they follow your story, whether it's Natalie or someone else, they're following you. So a lot of those supporters 
might not like Natalie for you. And they're gonna say it. They're gonna say it. I, on the other hand, I do like you two together. I believe you both are soulmates, whether that's in friendship or a relationship, I don't know. But you guys made this look really bad. So what did, what did you expect from us? We go off of these 15 minute videos that you edit and provide for us. Blame yourself. I'm sorry, you know, I know this has affected you so much. I support you and I'm glad that you're taking this time for you because that's what you need. And don't let anybody make you feel like what you did was wrong because the reaction that you're getting. You know what I'm saying? I yeah. support, I support and that's you. what's been really hard is just, I don't, it's not even just them. You know what I'm saying? Like the whole point of this call, the reason why I said I wanted to talk to you is just to make sure that you know what's up. You know what I mean? And that and you good. are not. And I'd rather hear that, that you're trying to validate your feelings for her. Not us, for her. My mindset that anything that they're saying is true at all about me, about my family, like, it's just crazy how people can judge a whole, the whole picture when they only have one puzzle piece of it. We also gotta know too that we putting our business out there, we gotta have the mindset of, all right, we putting it out there, there's gonna yeah. be those people that hide behind screens that just try to bash us and stuff like that. But you have to know and you have to keep that in your mind. If you wanna put that out, that's gonna happen. But we can't allow that to affect us. And I can tell yes. that that has, that has affected you, you know, yes. based off of this conversation and you have to know that. You know that I love you and I know what's real. If we gonna put it out there, we gotta, we gotta know what's gonna come in return. You know what I'm saying? Hard exactly my point. I've ever been so vulnerable yeah. um, publicly before, so I didn't really know the extent that people yeah. are willing to go to tear you down. You know what I'm saying? Girl, I think that you thought we were gonna be on your side. I think you you thought that we were gonna be more understanding of why you feel the way you feel and how you reacted to it. Turned out to be the other way, and it kind of backfired not that you intentionally wanted us to feel that way but i think in the back of your mind you thought that that's what was going to happen and it didn't i'm sorry but it didn't i'm so sorry that you have to feel this and, you know i care about you i love you you know and you're in love but yeah overall um i just really wanted to talk real quick to let you know like where my mind's at and that you know i do i love you and i care about you and i just I want to tell you that face to face. I know I've been telling you that, but yeah. Well, I appreciate that. And, you know, the fact that, you know, you've been checking on me and, you know, seeing how I'm doing and stuff like that. Like, it's really so cheesy. Um, She's know, so cheesy. And I just kind of, you know, even though you call me, I kind of, you know, do want to know, like, where do we stand? Like, are we going to, you know, move forward do you want to be with me are you still in love with me kind of want to you know know what you feel now you know what i'm saying um i don't i don't really know like where things are gonna go um but to answer your question yes i'm, I'm still in love with you So okay. <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay. And I believe her. And I believe her. You go through your hardships. That's why I said, Natalie, don't end it like that. You're going to go through it sometimes. And that's okay. And when you fall in love, it's, it takes a while to fall out of love. So something like this was not going to just get you out of love, you know? Oh, so good for you. Okay. I'm hoping the best for y'all. Well, that's all I need to hear. Let's see what well, happens, you know? I'm See so what's next. You too. I'm so in love with you. You know that. I guess that. Yeah. Just figure it out. <laughs> I'll talk to you, I guess, later then. Okay. Alright. Come on. Bye. Cute, 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 cute. <laughs> and then she ends it with her damn face. <laughs> You're stupid, easy. Oh, she got so happy. She got so happy. All right, I'm gonna end it right there. Listen, I've been telling y'all, who gives a fuck about the viewers? Don't worry about what we're saying. If y'all know what's up, keep following your heart and just focus on yourselves. And I'm glad that Natalie did leave to Miami for her mental health because that comes first. 
your self-care, your self-worth will always have to come first before anybody else. So she's doing something good right now. Hopefully she gets better and we'll see what happens next, right? All right, you guys, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe, and please hit that bell so you can get notified every time I upload. See you in the next video. Peace.